Hey, thanks for listening to another vlog. I'm Daryl Thomas. How are you guys doing today? I want to talk about the price of Libya. I mean, liberty. The price of liberty. Which is, in re which is reflected in the price of Libya. As you know, uh, if you have a car, you've probably noticed, at least in, in America, the price of gas has gone up. Uh, dramatically, it's going to continue to go up well into the summer. Uh, when I first got here to America, uh, I had pleasant surprise of seeing gas was only like two dollars and sixty-five cents, sixty-nine cents a gallon. I thought that was great. It's probably low here because you know the area I'm at is uh, you know pretty affluent, and they well, you know, gas prices were really reasonable, I thought. And now that uh, Libya and Egypt and Tunisia and all these Middle Eastern countries, or some of them are very big oil producers, uh, with the unrest you see the price of gas going up dramatically. Right now it's uh, 330 a gallon, 338 a gallon is going to keep going up. Uh, they forecast a price of four dollars a gallon, which is which would be the highest price since uh, the summer of 2008. <clears throat> now people have not realized, like I didn't realize, while I was enjoying low, low gas prices, you know. Uh, I, I didn't realize the cost, the real cost of the low gas prices. I mean, I thought all I was concerned about was the end result, $2.69 going into the gas tank. I thought that was great. That's all I was concerned about. I didn't realize what it took to get that price. Now that we see Libya, Egypt going through a bunch of commotion and fighting and dying and civil warring, you can see the real price is starting to be more apparent. Four dollars a gallon would still be a drop in the bucket in regards to the cost of human misery that has to go in to get that price. And people are not really looking at that in America. They're looking at, wow, I need a more fuel efficient car. I need to buy a scooter. That'll, that'll solve my problem. I mean, nobody will ask for a real solution to high oil, high oil prices. I mean, there is none. Um, there just isn't. What we have is a system of abuse that sucks all the energy and the life force out of people, out of many millions of people, so a few can benefit. A few can have a great life. A few can have low gas prices. Sure, they're having a civil war in Libya, and some of the rebels are controlling some of the oil fields. Libya is a pretty poor country, I mean, other than the ruling elite who make all the money from these oil corporations who have refineries there. If the true cost was reflected in the price of gasoline, 
or the processes used to create the gasoline, nobody would be able to afford it. And everybody, if they knew the price, the true price, should be appropriately ashamed. For it's not a system that is beneficial for everyone. It's not logical. In fact, it's sociopathic, pathological, murderous. And it needs to be stopped. In an equal money system, I don't know what role energy will play a part in. But it can't uh, live on the lifeblood of defenseless, defenseless people. I just can't do that. I don't know. That's all I have for now. Talk to you later. Change the system from within.